Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Um, we're gonna talk at a higher level about what is the purpose of data analysis, right? So uh, maybe you've been in the data space for a while, maybe you're kind of breaking into it for the first time and you're wondering, what is my purpose in my work life? Um, that's what we're hoping to cover here. Um, so before we get to that final answer, which we will get to, I want to start by talking a little bit about the data analysis journey. Um, and what I mean by that is, is pretty much every project that you work on, you know, assuming that you're creating content for somebody else, not for yourself, you're, whether it's an individual, whether it's a team of people, you're going to be walking them through um, what we usually like to sort of distill down to a four step journey. Okay. Um, the first of those steps is usually to answer questions like what happened. Okay. Um, so people are sort of just looking back on their data historically. How are student test scores? Are sales up or down? Um, are, is our head count increasing or decreasing? So just really factual types of questions. Okay. Um, so I'll use an example from kind of my work, my consulting world. Um, uh, I work with the school districts on a regular basis. And one recent project is uh, we were creating a dashboard and, and sort of a, a whole um, uh, set of analytic tools that would allow the district at large, but also individual teachers to identify students of diverse backgrounds that might do really well in advanced classes. Um, they had noticed, um, mostly sort of ad hoc, but we were able to confirm it with data. They had noticed that students of maybe, um, you know, different socioeconomic backgrounds or different income levels, or maybe spoke a different language than English at home, um, those students weren't uh, participating in advanced classes as often as their counterparts. Um, and the school district said, well, you know, we think these students, there's a lot of them that could do really well, but maybe they need that little bit of extra encouragement um, from a mentor or a teacher, which would say, hey, I think that you would do great here. Okay, so that was what we did. We said, okay, what happened? These students aren't attending these classes at the rates that we think that they could, and we think they'd do really well and set them up for success. Okay, so the next question usually to follow up is why did that happen, right? And so in that case, it, it's a little bit of guesswork and if for us, but, um, you know, we were saying, well, you know, maybe their peers aren't in it. And it's sort of a kind of a self-fulfilling cycle. Like if your friends aren't taking these classes, are you going to go out of your way to take it um, without maybe a little bit of an extra nudge from a parent or a teacher? Like, yeah, maybe, maybe not as likely, right? Um, so what happened? Kids aren't attending these classes as much as maybe we would hope. Why? And then next up, what will happen? You know, do, do we think this is going to change or without our intervention, are things going to kind of continue the same? Would they increase? Would they decrease? Right. So trying to do a little bit of forecasting um, and, and projections. And then, you know, finally, the, the question is, well, what should we do about it? Right. We really want to see more kids of diverse backgrounds in these classes. We think it'll set them up really well not only to graduate high school, but in whatever they do after high school, whether that's college or whether that's an apprenticeship or a different type of job. Um, so what we did is we created a tool which would look at these students and say, you know, taking a bunch of factors, whether it's classes they've already taken, interests that they told us about, um, their current grades, you know, whatever it would be. And we would say, hey, here's some students that would be really great if their, te if their teachers would reach out to them and encourage them. Um, to take these classes and so the cool thing is we've been able to sort of measure this and then so far so good um, this, this actually has led to more students um, attending advanced classes and then we hope that that continues to have a really positive effect you know in the immediate next steps of their life and maybe over the course of their entire life um, so kind of going back all the way to the beginning of this video what is the purpose of data analysis um, the way that i would describe that is that the highest purpose of data analysis is to support informed experimentation, right? So you gotta go through these different stages with your users, and then hopefully you're providing them the information they need that they say, we think this is what we should do about this. Let's do that, let's measure this, and let's see if we're successful. If not, we'll try another experiment. Um, so I think an important thing to remember is not to sort of rush your users or, or try and skip steps or, you know, I think for most situations, most projects, most user groups, they need to walk through these stages. They need to start with what happened, sort of dissect it, figure out why, do some projections, think about what might happen, and then start to come up with a little bit of a game plan for what to do about that. So 
I hope this was a helpful video in just sort of giving you some inspiration and ideas around um, the purpose of this entire industry of data analysis. I would love to hear your thoughts if you would say the same for yourself, if maybe you would say something different, uh, would be cool to hear. So thank you so much for following along. We drop new data related videos like this every single week. Um, sure, sure, certainly we do a lot of Tableau stuff, but we try and do uh, you know content that's applicable to anybody regardless of what tools that you're using. And we've got an info button up here in the top corner if you want to check out our upcoming Tableau classes. We've got Tableau for beginners, for advanced users, calculations, Tableau prep. We really firmly believe that nobody um, should be on this journey on their own, and it's it's hard to learn a lot of this stuff, and um, we're, we're here to, to help with our decade of experience. So thank you so much. We hope to catch you on our next video here next week. Thanks.